Welcome to this look at the new Borgo DLC on Farming Simulator 19 with me, Mr. Sealy P. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, the Borgo DLC is here or soon to be here. First off, massive, massive, massive shout out and huge thank you to Chris at Giants um, for hooking me up. Um, a lot of PC codes were sent out on Friday, I believe, for early release versions for people to put out videos on Saturday. I did get a PC version. I was sent one out. However, like I've said before, I'm the PS4 guy. Um, Chris hooked me up with a PS4 code, um, which has given me access to it today. This comes out at midnight tonight. Um, 7.99 euros. Uh, I'm not too sure what's going to be on the PS4 because like I said I just put a code in just now but it should be around the same sort of price. Anyway, that being said, I did the um, fact sheet video. Um, on this video we're going to be looking at more in more depth at what we get in the pack, um, at the machinery in person so to speak, the animations, the slot count, um, how they work, what they do, those kind of things. Uh, what options we've got available within our choices there's some quality stuff in here um a bit of kind of history i often do this when new stuff comes out and i used to do it on mod reviews too as well um borgo uh, industries started off with frank borgo in um saint brew in saskatchewan a uh, province of canada uh, frank was is was um, a farmer and mechanic and inventor um, in St. Brew. He was also a partner in the local Massey Ferguson dealership um, where he would fix and repair and sell and you know uh, machinery to people. Now he was an inventor and a mechanic. As a, ch as a young man, as a child, he made a gas engine powered toboggan before snowmobiles, skidoos were even invented. Um, guy was a bit of a legend, to be totally honest. Well, he decided during his time working at the Massey Ferguson dealership that seeing lots of different manufacturers, machinery and equipment, that he felt for the surrounding areas there needed to be some machinery that could do multiple jobs in one part, plus be hardy, hard-wearing, stand up to the rigours of farming so decided to set up Borgo Industries. Um, in 1973, they incorporated... That was the year I was born. Looking at where Borgo have gone in the last 45 years, and where I have... <laughs> hmm. They've achieved a fair bit more than I have, to be fair. Um, some amazing machinery, amazing equipment. I think it was in 1978. I'm kind of looking at my notes here as well. Um, there was another local inventor... Um, Bichard, I can't remember what his name was. Uh, Jerome, Jerome Bichard um, had the Bichard seeding system and um, Frank um, Borgo acquired the rights to it. So their air, air seeders and air carts began development um, and they just kind of went on from strength to strength. Now it's kind of an industry, not standard, but this system whereby the air cart seeder, seed cart is pulled behind the seeder was kind of developed by them so that the machine operator could keep an eye on the actual seeder itself without the seed air cart being in the way um, which is kind of you see it a lot more now but at the time you didn't so incredible invention um, they went on from strength to strength um, he wanted to have a, a chisel plow cultivator all in one because a lot of farmers were chisel plowing then cultivating and again that's the sort of thing we kind of see as standard now where you've got the, the chisels and then the cultivating sections with um, with rakes and baskets and stuff on the back but it was kind of that's where it came from um, anyway enough about that I mean that's um, you know it is history. It's on the uh, Borgo website. If you want to go and check it out, there's a brilliant video, 40 Years of Borgo, which is fascinating watch, incredible to, to have a look at. Um, what I will also do as we go over these and we look at the incredible detail on here, if you go onto the Farming Simulator website, onto the blogs, which is the section, the newest section on the website, there's an interview with uh, Robert Fa Fanu. Fanu? Um, marketing specialist for Borgo and there's a brilliant interview on, on there um, 
with him, with Giants, talking about the release of the machinery, the design process, how they went through converting from machinery designs to putting it into the game and what they actually think of it. Um, reading the interview, um, Borgo are incredibly impressed with the level of detail. I mean, hugely impressed with the level of detail. And I'll be honest, it is amazing. So what we're going to start off with, well, as you've already seen, and you probably, if you've seen the trailer teaser video and you've seen the fact sheets, we've got the 9RX um, on console. Like I said on, on that previous video, it's been out on PC for a while, but we've now got it on console. Very nice indeed. Goes up to 670 horsepower, I think. <laughs> a lot. Um, we've got a couple of different track configurations. There's no tyre configurations. I've kind of gone for a John Deere setup just because the 9RX was out with this pack as well. Um, we've got the wider 3 metre track or axle width. The tracks are the same size but the actual width of the axle. You can go up to 3 metres or the standard. Um, and we're going to work our way through the pack. So, starting us off, we've got the 9RX. We'll have a look, look over that. Lovely looking mod. Very detailed. What does it sound like? All that kind of stuff. Lovely bit of kit. What I did try, I just thought I'd give it a go, that um, front three-point link mod that came out, it won't hook up to the front of here. I did try, I thought I'd give it a go. You never know. So, let's do that again closer up. Very nice indeed. Lights all round, work lights, beacons as you would expect, horn, oh that's a bit peep peep for a big old tractor. But in cab, and this is a really small thing but it's made me smile, it's made me happy. Nice displays on the column, but down here, we turn our lights on, look down there, lights all the way around. One that I always look for, beacon light. Put the beacons on. Look, there's a beacon light. It's a small thing, but it's made me smile. I'm very happy about that. <laughs> there are no opening windows or doors. You get what you get. Nice, incredibly detailed, tidy interior. It's a beast. As you can see, it's pretty muddy already as I came onto the field. I'm on Dahl Ranch. There is also on the Farming Simulator website a list of suggested maps <laughs> to use this machinery on because this machinery is not designed for small maps. You're not going to get around small maps with it. Um, it is huge. I mean, absolutely monstrous. Behind me, I've got the Borgo 7950 um, air cart right at the very back. Directly behind me, I've got the 3320 76 Paralink hoe drill. A direct drill... Uh, cultivator, it does everything, all of it in one part, which is absolutely fantastic. Um, so, we'll have a look at the John Deere in store first. So, we go to large tractors, which is just there 428,500 for the base model. Um, this will set you back 35 slots, which to be fair isn't that bad considering the slot counts we've had in, with recent mods and stuff. I think 35 is pretty good. Um, so, we'll have a look at our options available. We've got the 9470 at 517 horsepower, the 9520 at 572, which I think this one I've got is one of those. Um, we've got the 9570 at 628 horsepower, and then the 9620 at 670 horsepower. It's a bit of a monster. And then we'll set up, we can have it with standard, like so, or the 3 metre axle width. Those are your options available on the 9RX. Um, I know a lot of people for a long time have been saying with mods coming out they wanted bigger stuff, they wanted bigger machinery, they want to be able to do big farming on big maps. This is the pack that does that. We have got some big stuff in game already, don't get me wrong, we've got the Flexi Coil, and we've got um, the Hats and Bickler and... Um, don't want to forget it, check, my mind's gone blank again. Isn't that awful? Under Cedars... Um, Vaderstat, the Seed Hawk. Um, but yeah, we've got the Hats and Bickler set up, and there are some, there we've got some big Cedars. But I think, pretty sure, if I'm not mistaken, the 3420 Paralink, the big one, 
is the biggest we've got in game on console now at the moment because I'm pretty sure the Sea Talk's 25.6, the Terminator is 18, yes, 30.5 is the new Paralink Hodra, but we'll look at those in a bit more detail. What I've got on the back of the John Deere are these two, the 7950 Air Car and the 3320 76 Paralink Hodrill. Um, the 7950 Air Car is a 33,475 litre Air Car, it does seed and fertiliser. Um, it will run you 28 slots on console. And the actual seed hoe drill we've got is a direct drill, which is absolutely brilliant. Um, it will do your main crop types. Um, we'll run through those. But it does your, your wheat, your barley, your oats, canola, soybean, uh, oil seed, radish, and uh, grass. 500 horsepower requirement to pull it. 23.2 uh, metre, which is great. But what we need to do first is fill it up. So we'll be able to have a look at the first animation on here. For the actual air cart itself and the air cart detailing is incredible we'll have a look at that in a little bit more detail in a second if we open let's go to that open cover so our auger comes out fantastic animation on that i love the swing arm very nice this will fill up from bags from pallets um, it, it will fill up from these if i can get this lined up nicely there we go, fill up our seed. Don't need to fill up completely, but it will do. Um, what it will do is fertilise as well, but you need to come off of this point first, then come back on again. Otherwise, for some reason, it won't register. If I now change from the seed tank to the fertiliser tank, like so, press L3. And we can fill our fertiliser up a bit more as well. Now, these on both of these, and I love it absolutely love it is that um the, the seed and fertilizer is pretty much evenly balanced we haven't got one of these ones where you've got so much more fertilizer than seed or vice versa generally speaking you know you get these weird anomalies well not anomalies i suppose that's how the how they are in the real world now one drawback and i don't like to say there's a drawback but there is a drawback let's jump out and have a look at this so this is the air car in all its glory and it is phenomenal hooks up at the back all the hoses all hook up incredibly neat at this point here the the level of detail on this is incredible one thing i'm slightly you've got these things called a saddle tank the saddle tank goes on the side um, you can have these optional in the real world in game you just get that as standard which increases the capacity um, but you have this look the bulk boom the bulk boom is designed for picking up pallets bags lifting them up and loading into the tanks i was really hoping these would operate in game but they don't. I haven't managed to find an option available. I've tried to go onto here. I've tried to enter this because um, I thought maybe you need to enter the seed cart itself and that will let you do it. If I open up my side side panel, my menu, um, as we go up to it, doesn't give you any option to enter or anything like that. But the, look at the, the level of detail and the steps going up. It's fantastic. Top, top quality stuff top quality machinery top quality mod um, anyway so that's the 7950 air car seed tank what is great as well they have a trailer hitch on the back um, when I had a bit of a testing around with this what I, I did without having follow me which you know um, I actually hooked up the there's a harrow in this pack the um, XR770 harrow I hooked up the harrow on the back of this as well now these are all swivel axle swivel axle swivel axle uh, and then you try hooking something onto the back line them all up but that trailer hitch in the back does work you can hook up absolutely fantastic so let's get this over to the field let's open up the uh, 7950 uh, not the 7950 the 3320 Paralink hoe drill I've got it set on wheat at the moment let's see the animation for that and open it right out get that going then we'll have the next ones and the next ones and so on this is it's lovely lovely stuff so we'll switch implements over let's close that off right let's open this up so with it open 
you can see, oh man, look at the deep, the whole the hoses, all the connectors. This system here, on the video, there's a load of videos about this, um, for the opening and closing, for putting seed and fertiliser in the correct alignment, that's patented, I can't remember what it was called now, um, but it's, I mean, fascinating stuff. It's incredibly, incredibly detailed. Wow. Wow. Right, let's get that running. Oh, let's just stop that again. Watch how these all go down. All in different like, like orders. It's, wow. Let's get a bit closer. Right, start her up. That's brilliant. Absolutely phenomenal. And off it goes. I didn't talk about the price of these when you look in the, the mod I suppose I should have done really. Right, let's stop there. It's kind of, you know, I suppose you should really mention it. Um, I know some people will put money in, they'll use government subsidy mods and that kind of thing. So if we do go for the 9620 and we do put it on 3 metre, which gives you the maximum what everything's going to cost, 510,000 for a 670 horsepower John Deere 9RX. Um, as far as the cedars go, the uh, Paralink hoe drill is going to set you back 273,500 and the air cart 272. Oh, that's what I didn't show you. On the air cart, the 7950 air cart, we've got option of tyres, standard, rear twins, twins all round. Um, all back to standard again. If you do go for twins all round, it takes up to 281,200. Very nice looking bit of kit though. So, Let's turn that off. That's the first of them. Bear with me one second. So, next in line, we've got the next of the... Uh, we've got the 9620, so this is the 670 horsepower one. I think the other one I had was the 572 horsepower. So this is the 9RX 570 horsepower with the 3 metre um, axle width. All the details, the rest of that is all exactly the same, sounds the same, pricing, we've already looked at what the pricing of that costs, but what we've got on the back of this <laughs> is the Borgo 3420 100 Hodrill, 30.5 metres, big old flotation tyres, it's designed for, there are lots of configuration options, if you go to the website and actually have a look, um, are all the different options you can buy, you can get different extensions, you can get them slightly smaller, slightly larger, um, so they kind of suit a lot of large farming operations and you can go from a small setting up to a much much bigger setting if you want to um, again when this is open we'll have a look at the detail on this in a little bit more but it is huge this is a little bit easier to, to hook up I'll be honest because it doesn't have a swivel axle it has these bars that hook up either side when this opens it, it again we'll have a look in a minute it's incredible on the back of that we've got the 7 1300 Seven thing, seven thirteen hundred. It's thirteen hundred bushel uh, cart. Again, unfortunately, the bulk boom doesn't work. Um, but saddle tank on the side. Um, this comes standard with twins. You can't. There's no other option on this. Um, but it's massive. So quick look at those. Uh, like I said, the tractor's the same, but under cedars. 3420 100 Paralink hoe drill. Uh, again, this will do all your standard crop types. Um, this will set you back 26 slots. Uh, options available. There are none. You get what you get. 600 horsepower required to pull this beast. 30.5 meters, as we've already said. It is awesome and massive. The 71300 air cart um, is how many slots? 24 slots. Um, for the first one, if you're going to get more. Capacity of 45,810 litres. 
huge fertilizer and seed this will do um, again it splits it very very evenly so what we'll do this one i think i've already filled up fills up exactly the same way we can open up the uh, rear thing i'll show you that as well but so let's jump back to the air car so open up the tank swing arm comes out we go to our seed tank first like i say we look down the bottom there uh, our seeds at 22,550, the fertilizers at 20,260. So a fairly even split compared to some seeders that we get. And then we can switch over to the fertilizer tank, like so. Or we can just close it all completely, like that. This does also have a rear trailer hitch on it. So let's move on to the seeder itself. So opening this up is phenomenal to watch. I love machinery, I love mechanics, I love how people problem solve to get things to work and it's just incredible. Let's close that up and look at it from slightly different angles so we can see it all nicely Just amazing. Now I'm sorry, this will be, this will be fairly long as far as the kind of mod review goes, because it's a DLC review rather than just mods. Plus, I love it. <laughs> I've got this one set on canola, and in all honesty, once you start seeding, it seeds like any other seeder does. But it's the, the sheer size of it. Now, interestingly, with this folded up, this has a narrower um, footprint. It's probably the wrong word. Um, a narrower width for transport than the smaller one does um, than the 3320 the 3320 folds up slightly differently so whilst this is a much bigger uh, cedar it does have a smaller or narrower width for moving so This is going to make light work of the, the, the biggest fields, isn't it? I mean... Just wow. Wow, wow, wow. Love it. Okay, let's stop there. So, uh, that's the uh, 7 1300 air cart and 34 20 100 hoe drill. Moving on, we have got this. Uh, this is the Borgo FMS CD8728. Um, this is a FMS frame mounted system. So this is a cedar seed tank all joined together on one chassis, one frame. CD, um, because it's got coulters on the front. Um, what was the other version you could get? It was a H... Oh, my mind's gone blank. Oh, HD, hoe drill. Uh, so you have hoe drill or this one, which has got coulters. Anyway, this is the coulter version. Uh, again, the bulk boom arm doesn't work, uh, but is what it is this is an eight meter one so this is a smaller one requires lower horsepower and again the detail incredible it looks great i love these big chunky tires on here as well i always like it when something new comes into the game something that looks different um has a, di a different style at the end of the day it's a cedar it's an eight meter cedar it will, it will seed but i don't know i suppose because i do like machinery and that kind of thing i just love the the elegance of design and i'm going to keep saying it because it's true anyway this one i have also filled up already but opening of tanks l1 and left of the d-pad 
opens up your seed tank. Same again, we'll then open up your fertilizer tank. I love the fact the latches lift up first and then the actual handles that so again they lift then it lifts brilliant great animation so obviously you'll find this under cedars as well there you go the fms cd872 um this again will do your standard crop types eight meter width on it requires 240 horsepower this will use 22 slots options available there are none you get what you get 7200 litre tank If I open up the help menu, just like to say to show you, um, there's no option on here that gives me anything to do with that boom arm. That's for the door of the tractor at the bottom one there. So yeah, anyway, we'll unfold it. Very, very nice indeed. Now, one thing I will say for the two larger ones, because <coughs> I've just so remembered, is that I did try um, hooking them up with the Hatson Bickler um, air cart and the um, Vaderstat, but because the connections are in different places, it, di it didn't want to know. It didn't want to hook up at all. So these need to be work used in conjunction with each other. Actually, one thing I haven't tried is hooking up the larger seed cart to the smaller seeder. But I don't see any reason why it wouldn't work. I mean, if it all, for all intents and purposes, they're the same air cart, just one's much larger than the other one. Um, maybe I'll do it before the end. If I forget, I do apologise, but I, I might try that. Yeah, I'll give that a go. Right, moving on. We have got this. This is the Borgo SPS 36050. This is the seed preparation system. This is a cultivator. Um, and this is the four stage cultivator that I kind of mentioned uh, when I did the fact sheet. In that, we've got the discs at the front here. We've got our chisel plows in this section here. Um, and a section at the back there. We've then got rake tines at the back there for flattening out the uh, the seed bed that obviously goes deep that goes and flattens them out and then we've got baskets on the back but i think in the real world version you can have rakes and rakes or you know you can configure these however you want and i'm pretty sure i'm trying to think now whether these can be operated independently in the real world not sure if they can or not um but anyway regardless um this you will find under cultivators there we go uh, it requires 480 horsepower, so it needs a little bit. It's a 12 meter cultivator, um, so we kind of moved away from the 3 meter cultivators for a little while, which is quite nice. Um, cheeky grin on my face. No options available, you get what you get. It cultivates. So, let's hook it up, look at the animations. Uh, this will use up how many slots? 12. 12 slots. I'm not sure if I have enough horsepower to pull this, but... The animations on these are incredible. Having watched tonight, I watched quite a few actual real-life farmers and their websites. And this does have a trail hitch in the back as well. Didn't notice that before. Ah. Um, that when you see these things unfold the way the, the you know the pneumatics and everything works you get one section will move a little bit and they are a little bit jerky and juddery and as they come out they come out and that they've nailed that i mean absolutely nailed it you see them come up like that really smoothly everything works fine but because gravity's taking hold on the way down you get that yeah look brilliant absolutely spot on
and away we go. There you go, 12 metres cultivator. What was this one? Oh, I didn't look at the price, so I do apologise. 56,000, wasn't it? So 56. Oh no, what was I thinking? 50. Oh, I think it's oh, sorry, 189,500. <laughs> uh, now, obviously, there are other cultivators in game and modded which are cheaper and do wider widths and that kind of thing. I totally understand that. Um, but again, it's you know, something new, something cool. I'm curious now about the trailer hitch on the back. That's going to be a case of having a bit of a play around, a bit of a fiddle. Um, seeing what things you can get to hook up to it again we're in that situation there are so many different mods so many different things available and out there um that you can use um to go through and try everything that might hook on the back of there would take forever but that is interesting that it does that i wonder if you could put hmm. yeah <laughs> it's options anyway right moving on to the last of the mods in this pack um we've got the borgo xr770 Harrow. This is a weeder. Now I don't actually have any weeds in the ground at the moment, but I thought I'd, we'll have a look at it anyway. We'll have a look at the price and look at the size, the sheer size of it for weeding. Um, I did wonder if we'd get away with one of those ones where, um, as a harrow, some of them in game will give you a fertilising state when you run over. I don't think this does, but again, the detail on here with all the spring attachments and it's just incredible looks great uh, this you'll find under weeders the XR770 that was what I was thinking 56,000 350 horsepower required so it requires a bit of horsepower 21.3 meter but here's the thing uh, we've got the XR770 for 56 grand or we can go for the XR770 90 which adds on those it's difficult to see from it adds on those bits of the back let's go back in look a whole massive section added onto the back. So we go from 21.3 metres to 27.4 metre weeder. I think that's what I went for. Pretty sure it was. love how those arms come up and pull everything tight into their look. It's incredible. Look at the size of that. <laughs> that is amazing. Now like I say, I've got no weeds, so I can put it down, I can drag it through. It's just to show the width of it, the sheer scale of it. And as you can see, you can't turn it on or off. So there's no orange. And if you look up the top left-hand corner where you've got the tool, the implement, it's not going orange or anything. So like with some of them, there's a couple in-game. We've got now the Scariflex and there's the um, Agromash BM75 where you can get a cheeky fertilising state out of them. Um, you can't with this. This is just solely a weeder. So, there we go. That's nice. I like that. Drop that down. Very cool. Fantastic animations. I think the, the combination, the work between Borgo and Giants to produce this stuff, um, like I said, the level of detail is incredible. And if if you're one of those people out there that's been hankering for some big machinery for doing big farming, this is the pack. I mean, wow. How cool. Right, what I'm going to do very quickly, um, I'm going to leave you for a second and I'm going to try and hook up, it's like switch them around do the old switcheroo and see if we can um, yeah, see if we can hook these up okay so switching them around I hooked up the larger of the cedars to the smaller of the air carts and vice versa so we've got the large air cart with the small cedar they do hook up they do seed they do work but the hoses don't connect so whilst the actual system does work it will allow you to and it will allow you to seed it registers the seeds in the third size in the tank and it's just taking it out as it goes these don't actually hook up the animations for these don't so if you want to go for the kind of ultra realistic and you want to make sure it all looks as it should do 
um, you want to run the small cart with the small seeder, the large cart with the large seeder, but it will work with each of them if you want to do it with each of them. That's entirely your choice. And there you go. Um, that's it for the Borgo DLC. That's what you get. Let's put that on. Like I say, it's working. Um, that's what you get. That's all of it. So we've got the 7950 air cart, the 7300 air cart, the 3320 Paralink hoe drill, the 3420 Paralink hoe drill, the SPS 360 50 cultivator, XR 770 Harrow, FMS CD 872 Cedar, and the John Deere 9RX, all as part of this pack. <coughs> like I said at the start, huge thank you to Chris at Giants um, for sending me this PS4 link. And just to, to reiterate, this is on PS4. Um, this is what you'll be getting on console um, at midnight tonight. This comes out tomorrow on the 10th of March. Um, I hope you found this useful and informative in some way, shape or form. This may just make your decision up as to whether or not you want to get it or not. Or you, If you've got season pass, as far as I'm aware, you'll get it for free um, anyway. Um, but anyway, if you have found this useful and informative in some way, shape or form, give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do. Thanks for watching. <laughs>